Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. Today I'm going to be talking about the teaser for the upcoming collaboration between Kith and Nike. Yes guys, so our boy Ronnie Feig, he did it, he's done it. If you don't know who Ronnie is, he is a clothing and streetwear designer and also owner of Kith. We have discussed Kith on the channel before, we discussed their recent Mickey Mouse collaboration, uh, the Coca-Cola collaboration, I mean, I, I copped one of the denim jackets, I gotta say that is a very lovely piece, I'm gonna be looking forward to wearing that heaps during the summertime, which is basically now, but it's, it's just such a wonderful piece. Um, my one critique of Kith collaborations is they're always a little bit pricey, I think they could lower their prices a little bit, and they'd be a little bit more appealing to me, but personally, I think the quality and the overall design of Kith collaborations is pretty cool. Uh, there's very rarely any Kith pieces that come out in a collaboration that I'm like, you know what, these are absolutely horrible. But you know what, I'm one. To, um, I have to judge this upcoming collaboration that was announced today by old mate Ronnie uh, on his Instagram. He announced, well, teased, but also announced that there will be an upcoming collaboration between his brand Kith and Nike. How do we know that? Well, because he uploaded a photo of a pair of Kith Air Force Ones. Now, obviously, Ronnie has collaborated with sports brands in the past. He's done a lot of collaborations. He's done them with Asics, done them with Timberlands, done them with Clarks. He's done them with heaps of brands. Most of the time, I would say his colorways that he's done are very, very nice. There are a lot of Gel Light 3s that he does with Asics. I personally think that a lot of the colorways for the Gel Light 3s that he does are actually really, really nice. Even if the colors are a little bit wacky and a little bit crazy, I do think that he designs them quite well. And honestly, with the expectations that have been set by all those collaborations in the past, I've got pretty high expectations now for this, you know, Nike, upcoming Nike collaboration. But honestly, I think he's done a really good job with the Air Force Ones that he's teased. Now, let's dive into it. Let's have a look at these Air Force Ones that he has teased. So, he's chosen, I mean, the best colorway for the Air Force One. The most iconic colorway for the Air Force One, which is triple white. Can never go wrong with it. Although we do also have to comment very quickly about that because the upper is your traditional white. You know, the, the very nice white that you see on every pair of Air Force Ones. But the midsole looks like it's more of an off-white cream. Um, I'm going to say very much to have... Not as bad as the shadow backboards. Like, it's not as vintage as that. But it's got a hint of it. They've added a hint of cream for this Air Force One collaboration that is coming. So, what are the other details on this Air Force One besides the, you know, the up, white upper and the slightly a cream midsole and I assume outsole as well? Uh, well, we have got, we'll start with the laces. We have got gold tipped laces with the little gold detailing on that first lace. It looks like, like if I, if I zoom in really, really far on the image, it looks like instead of AF1, obviously Air Force One, it has Kith on it. That's a very nice little change there. Uh, normally it is silver on a pair of Triple White Air Force Ones. They've gone with gold detailing this time. It's a nice little change. It makes it pop a little bit on top of the white laces and white tongue. I must say it's a very nice choice. Uh, speaking of the white tongue though, if we go up to the top of the shoe, we get a red tag that does not contain Nike branding. It contains Kith branding with it saying Air Force One just under the Kith little box logo there. The choice of red, that very vibrant bright red, really makes it pop like you can see that straight away when you look at the shoe you're drawn to the green at the top of the tongue and uh, sorry the red at the top of the tongue and the green swoosh down near that uh, front of the toe box there now moving on from the red tag as i just mentioned the green swoosh uh i can't make the call if it's embroidered or painted on at the moment i don't have the details for that to see if it is or isn't uh it looks like it's painted on in my opinion from the image but we might get an embroidered one, don't know. Um, if any more details surrounding the whole collaboration come out, I'll obviously make another video and update you all on that. But it has been announced, uh, sorry, it has been assumed that it's gonna be painted on from the image, but if it changes, I'll let you guys know. Either way, the choice of that green really stands out on the front of that toe box. Because it's all white, just having that hint of green really makes it pop. Moving a little bit further back from the shoe, we have a look at the traditional Nike swoosh that is on the side. Although, he has changed it up a little bit. He has embossed his iconic Kith Box logo 
all across the swoosh there. Now, I think that detailing looks very, very nice up close. And I think at a distance, it might be a little bit harder to see. But I think people would appreciate it definitely when they have them on feet and when they look at them up close to have that detailing on that swoosh. I think that's a very nice choice. Now, we don't know if there's any design changes to the detailing on the back of the sneaker, on the heel, because obviously traditionally there is the Nike branding on the back there. We don't know if that's been changed or not, as this is the only image and only details we have to do with what we assume is going to be an upcoming collection with Nike and Kith. It's kind of amazing that they've just like finished up their Mickey Mouse collaboration that they did, which if you haven't seen the video, subscribe to the channel guys, go watch the Mickey Mouse one. But it's amazing to see that they've gone from doing the Mickey Mouse one to this, and wow, I'm, I don't know what we're in store for, honestly. But um, yeah, the detailing at the back, unsure. If more images come to surface, I'll do another video about it and we'll cover it again. But I'm just going to assume at the moment it's still the same Nike branding at the back because we don't have any more details. Uh, speaking of the back of the sneaker though, the inside of the sneaker has been swapped out for a very nice navy blue. <laughs> very similar to this blue here. Uh, and it looks like it's been detailed with a certain little pattern on the inside that is slightly different from your traditional Air Force inside pattern. Uh, it looks very comfortable, but the use of color also makes the back of the sneaker pop really, really well. I think the shoe would have actually suffered a little bit if they still stayed with having a white inside uh, white inside panels, I think they've done a smarter move by choosing this blue here. And it is a very nice color choice there. Uh, personally, I think all the details with the different color choices really makes the shoe pop. Um, if I had to change any of the detailing, I, I wouldn't honestly mind if they changed the swoosh on the side there to match the inside blue color that they've got on that um, cushioning there. I think that could make it pop a little bit more, honestly. I'd, I wouldn't mind seeing maybe a custom of someone grabbing that blue from the inside and s slapping it on the side there. I think it could look really cool on top of that swoosh. But overall, it is a very, very nice collaboration here. I gotta say, the use of colors on the detailing and not on anything else, like, you know, there's no color changes on the side panels, the toe box. It's only on the detailing to do with the laces, the extra swoosh, the tongue, and the inside. That's the only color change we've got from our traditional Air Force One. And I think just having those color, color changes on the detailing just really makes it work. It really, really pops. You don't need to say much more on this shoe. I think it says it all just by having those little color changes on the detailing there. It's a very nice, like, well done collaboration. As we said, what else did we expect from old mate Ronnie? So, you know what? I think he's done a very, very good job. I would keen to see more images, maybe some on-foot photos and stuff like that. I am hoping that there is a full collection that he drops as well. I would love to see what clothing apparel he can come up with. If there is a nice hoodie... You know me, I love my hoodies, so if I see that, I'll, I'll be sw swooshing straight to it. I'll be coming straight to the Kith uh, Nike hoodies. It could be very, very cool. But yeah, overall, this Air Force One, I actually really like it. I think it's a really nice collaboration. It doesn't do too much. It doesn't change it too much from a normal Air Force One. But the details are enough to distinguish it from a normal Air Force One. So it's in that perfect little sweet spot. Um, that's enough about me talking about it, though. I want to know what you've got to say about it, though, guys. Do you love this Air Force One designed by Ronnie Feig, by Kith? Do you like those detailings? Do you like the color choice for those detailings? What would you change on the sneaker to make it more appealing for you? Let me know everything you've got to say in that comment section below. And that's all the details we got. That is everything we have to do with the upcoming Kith. Nike Air Force One collabor- well, the Nike collaboration, I assume he's going to do more than just one pair of shoes. I assume there's going to be clothing to come with it, there's going to be a collection. I may be thinking too highly of him, he did just come out of doing the Mickey Mouse collaboration, but honestly, I reckon there's going to be clothing to be with it. There has to be, right? Like, it, it, it's a classic kid thing. Do, do a pair of sneakers, do the clothing, you gotta do it all. Um, either way, I want to know your thoughts and opinions in that comment section below, guys. Don't forget, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you to everyone that has been subscribing recently. I wouldn't be making the videos if it wasn't for you guys, so thank you so much. And that's all we've really got. That's all the details we have to do with the Kith Nike collaboration, the Air Force Ones. So until the next video, guys, I'll catch you later.